Bill, Frank here. Uh, today I'm planning on fitting a taco onto my brap. So, taco there. I'll explain more about how to do it as we get into it. Um, in order to get to some of the parts, I'm going to need to take off the seat and the fuel tank. Radio. The seat is held on by two bolts here, one on each side. And I've got replacement ones for those just because I feel like replacing them. The fuel tank is held on by a couple of bolts down here under the seat. And I'll also have to undo the uh, fuel hose going to the tank there, which isn't a problem. There will be a little bit of fuel leakage, so make sure you have a cup on hand to catch that. I'll also need to take off the headlight cover. That's held on by two screws, one there and one there. Righto, well I'll get into all that and then I'll come back. Okay, we've got uh, all that stuff off. So the seat's off, the fuel tank's off. Now the reason we need to get the fuel tank off is because we need to get to this piece right here, which is the uh, coil signal. Anyway, um, having said that, the mounting the the um, the taco is going to be up to you. You're going to have to try and figure out exactly how and where you want this thing to go. Um, you'll notice it's got that bracket there. You know it's got a bit of a bend in it. Um, the way I decided to put it on my bike is to weld a nut right there and uh, that'll have a rubber grommet on top of it and the um, taco will mount on top of that. Uh, you could also use those two nuts there, here and here, and make a right angle bracket which would fit it as well. Uh, really, this, the, it's up to your own imagination as to how you want to put it on. I had a welder, and uh, I'm capable of doing crap but solid welds, so that's what I decided to use. Okay, in order to get this to work, this is the uh, wiring diagram off the BRAP website, and even though I didn't get this off BRAP, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So, if we have a look at it, according to this, the yellow line here contacts the voltage signal line, which is that line there. The green line, which is this one here, needs a ground. And the black line here needs a positive um, lock signal. And that basically means that when the ignition's on, the um, power will be available for this for this wire here okay now having used a light tester here I've ascertained that this wire here the black one is the positive out so this red line here has power all the time this black one here only has power when the ignition is on so this black line here is what I'm going to tap into to get power for the um, taco. The light system, I'm just going to hook up to the um, parkas here. That's the green and brown line here. And once they're hooked up to that, when I turn the lights on, the lights will appear on the taco as well. Okay, in order to attach the signal wire to this point here get my finger in the right place there we go that one there I'm going to be using a, uh, a piggyback clip which is basically uh, one of these this one here will hook onto an extended bit of yellow wire which I have over here and the other end will obviously go onto this and then there'll be another set of clips which I'll put 
into the headlight cover to um, to enable it to be all pulled apart without shifting this wire again. That means I can adjust the taco later on without having to remove the fuel tank. Okay, well it's a fair bit later in the day and a uh, new heat gun later because the old one decided to short out my entire uh, house electrics. Um, and I've got all the wiring done. Okay, um, the thing's not actually attached yet, but I'll show you what I've done to get it sorted. This yellow wire here is the one that is going to the coil. This wire here is the ignition positive, so that's a clip coming out of there now. This one here is the light positive, and wherever it is, this one here is the ground negative. Rightio. On the actual taco itself, I've extended the wiring out on all of them and fitted the appropriate um, tabs to make it all just slot in. So if I ever do need to change anything out, it's just a matter of unplugging everything. Okay, well I'll get all this fitted and we'll uh, see how it goes. Rightio, we've got the uh, wires set through the back of the headlight here. Now let's get them all connected. Okay, it's a bit of a uh, mishmash here. I've got some other bits that don't really need. So that's the signal wire for the uh, for the coil. Into there you go. Let's hit in. That's in. Good. Okay, we've got the positive light. Actually, what I will do first is get these uh, ground wires back in. These are the blinker ground wires. Uh, and I'm using them for the ground for everything. So that is the ground wire here. Piggybacked off the other two. Rightio. So they're in there now. Now we've got two more wires. We've got the positive light. And that was coming off the... Uh, Parker wire here. Around the other side here. Done. And last but not least, we've got the ignition power. It might have helped if I had got that around the right way. Okay, well that should be all the wiring done up, so now let's check it. Yeah, that's not done up yet, but here we go. Turn it on. Right, we have neutral. We have lights. We have lights. Okay, now. Rightio, you saw it move. Now that's not going to go for very long because there is uh, no fuel tank attached here. <laughs> Rightio, so we know it works, so now I'll just do everything up and uh, show you the end result. I should say, I, have a, uh, I haven't just used crimped, I've actually uh, pulled the crimps apart and soldered them and then put them back together again. Well, I'm a big fan of actually soldering uh, things rather than just crimping them, although these, uh, these factory crimps are usually pretty good. She's all wired up and back together, except for the seat. Uh, somehow I've managed to cross-thread the bolt hole here, the bolt hole here, so I'll have to uh, sort that out with a tap. And of course, it's an 8mm bolt, and I don't have an 8mm tap, so there you go. But anyway, everything else is back together. It's 
lights. Okay, so there you go, fitting a taco. Catch you later.